long day's journey in tonight. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is awesome. Oh! Oh! We can also pull for Black Swan. I haven't felt this hype for an expansion in a long, long time. Oh my gosh, same. Wait. Okay. Pom Pom says, hey, 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 hey. What's up? Are we ready to set off to the next stop? We sure are. The warp jump device is all calibrated, but as the express conductor, I have three things I want to stress before we depart. All right. Okay, okay. We need to have a, a, a meeting. Okay. Uh, Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. So, what came up? Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone! Yeah! I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel. But before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Asana, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Uh, it is brimming with memoria, a macro void that leaked out of the memory zone. Okay. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptoms, you should take them seriously. Okay. Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Okay. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. In Rome? On Earth? Rome? Anyway, <laughs> third and final. Where's Rome? Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. Uh... If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. What nameless? Uh, allow me to explain. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. Okay. It was used to be a prison IP for the During IPC. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Oh, wow. Cool. Does this happen a lot? <laughs> Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, 
their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legor, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, it's just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names, either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity... Perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double-check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump! There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Talk to Himeko first. You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. <laughs> I'm excited, too. I trust Pentagoni won't let you all down. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Okay. She can't say everything yet for some reason. How's it going? All packed and ready? There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. We're gonna vacation. You seem disappointed. Of course not. Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. 18 and busty. Thanks for the two month resub. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Dan, hey. Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yank. I'll be staying on the express this time. What? I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. No! Come with us! Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but. I don't like bustling places. Ah. And <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the express. Make Wilt do it. He doesn't care that much. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. No! Um, I'd advise double checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. No! Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. Dan, why? <sighs> I want you to come with me. You're my fate. You're the best to your husband, though. You're the best husband -o in the game. <laughs> Damn, I'm so mad. March, my nemesis, because she's exactly like me and it makes me so mad. <laughs> Camera, check. Extra clothes, check. It makes me Toilet so mad. Aw, drat. The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. I also always bring my own stuff in travel bottles because I have like a special pink skin care. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. <laughs> what else should I bring? Take the pom-pom toy. My pom -pom toy? Not a bad idea. That's kind of like bringing the conductor on vacay with me. Yes. Uh, but I think it's too big to step in the case. 
just get rid of your other stuff. Like, you have one outfit, right? Like, you can't have that much stuff to put in the- This is hard. What else should I take? You have- girl, you have one outfit and you're wearing it down there. Like, what else do you need? It's about time. I should find a seat. Okay. Uh... It's about dang time. I'll probably play for like, I don't know. Like, do you, I was thinking about playing for maybe, doing the story for like an hour and then letting other people catch up and then picking it up again tomorrow. What do you think about that? Um, the express is about to make the jump. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, already there but we jumped but what about what happened before this? <sighs> not another one what's the problem we were I was just in the spaceship come with me I mean the train you know whatever who are you These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. She's so pretty. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. I'll forget everything. I know, mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. She also has this forgetfulness. So, come with me. I'll take you home. How did I end up here? Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. The f it's floating. Oh my god. Hey, it's my people. It is my kindred. Galaxy <laughs> Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still do it. This is... No way. There's, what? On the ceiling, there's couches mm -hmm. with tea. This is not the time to be playing mobile games on your phone, girl. This is not the time for that. Look up, like. <laughs> this way. There's a... It's a kettle, but it's also a clock, and it's spilling out into the ceiling. Wow, this is so trippy. Weird. After you. 
Am I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even possible? Oh my god. Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? Oh, that's not good. We're almost there. Can you still walk? Now I am become Trailblaze, the perambulator of walls. You're funny. <laughs> if you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. These voices, they are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Oh, look. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. Oh my god, is that Meteon? But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? It is. That's that was me, Tion. That's bad. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Pull them off the stage. Pull who off what stage? What performance? Ah, the charming audacity to think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. That's gonna be me in a second, trying to pull for Black Swan. <laughs> I'm just poking around here. Oh, hey! Memo Keeper, do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. Yeah, you shouldn't put dance partner on the astrologian. Even if her gear is really good. Whoa. Whoa. Awesome. We're here. Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> If you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Perhaps we have. You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? 
Family. Enemies. You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's in red, so it's like your answer might matter. Oh my god. Do I fear losing these bonds? I cannot bear such a fear. You can't live in fear. Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. No one faces life separations or deaths. And everyone got all they wanted. I would ask, would you wish to stay? No. I would... That would be boring. I wouldn't want that. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself everyone and every face they remember the joy and the heartaches the vows sealed and those left hanging all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending if you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception i would ask would you still embark on this journey Without hesitation, because that, the fact that things go away is what gives them meaning. That's what makes life beautiful, is the fact that it will end. That's like, that this moment is constantly fleeting, is why the moment is beautiful and eternal in its own way. So absolutely, I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Oh yeah? Well, that, why was it in red text then? Hearing, <laughs> touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. Uh... I would ask, do you still remember me? I seem to remember you from somewhere. <laughs> I understand. Raiden? Is that you? No, just kidding. <laughs> How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. Will we meet again? Golden Dream is getting restless. 
The golden slumber. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, cooperation. Your sight will only see black and white. What? But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What? What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. <laughs> Oh my god. What's wrong? Oh my god. Why are you crying all of a sudden? Oh my god. I may have dreamed of an old friend. Mm, sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already. Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Yeah, no Brett. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. Wow. While you were sleeping, the express arrived at Panacone. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. Wish I could wander Panacone streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Where's my positive vibes? It's gonna be uplifting and wholesome and heartwarming. They already said that. <laughs> Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? Okay. I'm thinking that I sh maybe should wait on this main story until at least like tomorrow so that way y'all can do it 